Hello, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how a rule-based approach to 3D complete street modeling is easy and effective. So right here, we're looking north at our site in Gainesville, Florida by the Oaks Mall. And so the first thing we're going to do is use the street creation tool to draw in a new street. This new segment is going to take the attributes from the one we drew it from. We'll just select this new segment, and then on the right, the complete street panel appears. We're going to start with the sidewalk and make it better for pedestrians. And as you can see, it changes in real time. Next, we're going to have adjustments to the traveled way. Let's add in a center. We'll choose a median from the many different options, and then adjust the width of that median. We can also adjust the spacing of those trees, which is very helpful when having to comply with local design standards. We'll then add in some street lamps. And now we want to make way for some bikers. So we just put in the width of the bike lane, and then it automatically takes a lane away from the cars. We'll then add in a buffer, and then we can choose from the nine different buffer types. And just by clicking on them, we can see what they look like. We can then adjust the spacing of these buffer objects. And to activate the street a bit more, the code also enables us to put in some cyclists in these lanes. Next, if we want to visualize form-based code or future developments, we just select these automatically made lots. We'll then apply a pre-made build a construction tool and just generate them. These blocks that are generated would be great to visualize zoning, but if we want to make it more realistic, we just enable these facades. We can also then adjust the setbacks, the street, the back, and the side setbacks. And if we're not happy with this building texture, we can change that. So within minutes, we were able to come up with a complete street scenario that also considers the context.